Hello everyone, for today's video we're heading out to the casino on my server, the Athena server on PS3. I'm recording this on PS4. So let's fast forward until we come to the stop of the flight here. Uh, this flying machine is by Redstone Spire on YouTube. Sorry this tutorial's a bit late, I've been busy actually building this whole uh, city here. So we'll come to a stop here, get off the machine, and then after a short delay it automatically heads back to the city. We'll leave this flight terminal. First, let's switch to survival. There's the casino here. Egyptian themed casino. Head in through the side door. So, there are the gambling machines. It's a diamond and emerald gambling machine, or a lottery machine, I mean. There are the slot machines, and this is what today's tutorial is the Wheel of Fortune. So this wheel spins around, and you have to try to press the button at a certain time to get your prize. You have to pay in order to play, so let's put our gold in so we can play. And then your prize will come out right here on top of that bedrock. So I'll try to time it just right. Woohoo! Got a prize. Diamond block. Uh, it's pretty hard to win. I It's probably easier for me to win since I built it. But it's hard. It's a hard mini game to win, so you should have good prizes for it. So I'll show you how to build that today. So to start with, we'll be building the wheel itself, the circle of redstone lamps, which don't all light up at the same time. So you'll need some kind, of, some type of block, your redstone lamp, comparator, and optionally a repeater. You'll probably need a repeater. Maybe not if you're on last gen. So you can make this however big you want. You should do it at least three by three, but you can make it bigger or smaller. And once you see how it works, you'll see why you might want it to be bigger or smaller. So put a comparator between every block for now. Just like that, and then put a redstone lamp on top of every block. So that's the core part, and that's what spins around. So next thing, let's cover up that redstone a little. Alright, that's good enough. So the next thing we'll have to do is put a one tick pulse into this uh, circle of redstone lamps. So we'll need to make a really simple one tick pulse generator. Put a comparator like that. Repeater into the side of the comparator set to two. Line of redstone connecting both of them. And put your button right... You want it to be closer to the repeater than to the comparator, so just put it right there. And there you go. One tick pulse circling around. Let's see if we take this out. So that, Occasionally this machine might get stuck on or stuck off where none of the lamps are on or all the lamps are on. And in that case you just need to rebuild that one tick pulse. And if you want to slow it down, and you probably will want to slow it down because if it's going too fast it'll actually be too easy, just replace any of these comparators with a repeater. You can replace as many of them with uh, repeaters as you feel is necessary. So again, here's the one tick pulse generator. Just like this. Button's closer to the repeater. Press, uh, gotta turn the repeater on. So you see if you press this, it'll just be on for a fraction of a second before the repeater cuts it off. Very quickly gets cut off by the repeater. So there you go. Next, we'll need to make the thing that dispenses a prize when you successfully uh, complete the mini game or beat it, whatever you want to say. So go under any of these lights, whichever one you want, but this will be the front of your machine, and put some redstone under the light, and connect that redstone to a torch. So every time the redstone flashes, the torch turns off. Now on top of that torch, place a block, and place a light on top of that block. So now this wheel will help you predict when this light turns on or off. And you want to press the other button at the exact time when this light turns off, and you'll see why in a second. So dig out some space next to your lamp, and place another block right here with some redstone under it, a lamp on top of it, and put a button on the block. And the button can go anywhere on the block, but it has to go on the block, not on the lamp. Now you want that redstone underneath the block we just placed to turn off another torch somewhere in the vicinity of the torch we already have. So you see when we press that, it turns off that torch. And the whole point of that is, having all these torches in this area, 
we can connect them all to a single line of redstone, and then all the torches have to turn off for a second, and then when they come back on, it'll release your prize. But unless you successfully turn them all off at the exact same time, it stays locked on and you won't get any prize. So you could leave it like we have it now, but the only problem with that is the button has quite a long pulse. So it actually makes it very easy to win. Pretty much every time you press it, you can win if you want to. So the next thing we have to do is set up a payment. So that'll be just one more step that makes the button press a little shorter. So for this payment, you'll need everything we would normally use to make a sorter. So we'll get a comparator, a hopper, and we'll also need a dropper in this case. Or you can, you can use a dispenser if you prefer. It doesn't really matter. And a chest, and some kind of block. But otherwise, it's everything we would normally use to make a sorter. So comparator, hopper, redstone, torch, and repeater. And some gold, because that's what we're going to be charging the people. So now we're over here by these other two torches, and we place a third torch right there next to where our dispenser is, our prize dispenser. And place a comparator feeding into that torch, so if that comparator turns on, it will turn the torch off. And put a dropper, and you might be inclined to do this, put a chest here. But if you can't open that chest, then you can't, uh, you can't put anything into that chest. So you'll actually need to put it like this. So when you put something into this hopper, it should, hold on, I'll, I'll fix that in a second. But you want, when you press this button, you want it to power this dropper. So once I come down here and fix this, because the hopper was sucking the items right out of the dropper, leave a one block space, so your dispenser is shooting, or your dropper, is shooting into the hopper, and the hopper's feeding into a chest. And that chest, if you want to collect your profit from your casino, that chest is where all your profit's going to go. So you see this line of redstone over here. Let's put a lamp here just so you can see how it's working. This line of redstone is connected to all three of these torches, and all three of these torches are turned off in, in a different way. One of them is turned off when you press the button, one of them is turned off when there's payment in this dispenser. So you see that turns off one already, and then one is turned off when the Wheel of Fortune goes around. Let's, let's separate the Wheel of Fortune one for a second, so you'll see how short of a pulse this is when you press the button. There, you see that? It only turned it off for a fraction of a second. It only stays on until the payment leaves this dispenser, the payment dispenser. That also means if you have multiple things of gold in the payment dispenser, you can get multiple plays out of it. So let's go ahead and reconnect this here. And now it's all working properly. So when you press that button, the button that you actually play with, it turns off a torch, but it also releases your payment, and that makes it a much quicker pulse than it is when it's uh, just the button by itself. So I'm going to move the prize hopper around a little bit, because it's actually not working where it is right now. I thought it would work if the redstone was up next to it, but I guess not. So I'm going to use a repeater instead. And it, like I said, it doesn't really matter if you use a dropper or a dispenser. So I got a few things in the payment dispenser. There you go, I won. I successfully won the game. Now if you feel like it's too easy, you can adjust the time. If the wheel is going too fast or too slow, it'll make the game easier. So you'll need to put it, just experiment with it until you find the sweet spot of difficulty that you like. So you see that time, I didn't win. So there you go, that's how that works. And the last thing we have to do in this tutorial is set up a payment, like an automated shop basically, going into this dispenser. And that makes it so they can only put the, the kind of payment that you want to charge. They can't, you know, put in dirt or whatever to pay instead. So this is from, this is the sorter from my sorters video, which I'll link in annotation. But this is really a very simple sorter. You can build it exactly how it looks. There's no fancy tricks to it or anything. And all it takes is one comparator, two things of redstone, a torch, and a repeater, plus 23 things of whatever you want to sort for. 23? It's 22 actually. So put 4 on the right side and 18 on the far left. And you see if we put any more than that, it'll go into our payment. And then you press it, and the payment releases down into your collection chest. And if we throw something else in, it just sits in the hopper. It won't go in, and it won't let them play. As long as they don't pay, they aren't able to play. And like I've said a few times now, remember to adjust the time of the wheel using repeaters. 
just take out the comparators and replace them with repeaters. And if it if you don't want to change the time, use comparators because that won't it won't be any lag like if you use a repeater. If you use repeaters for every one, it'll probably go slower than you want it to go. So quick overview of the whole design. You have three torches. One is turned off by the Wheel of Fortune, one is turned off when you press the button, and one is turned off when you put payment in. Payment releases when you press the button. So you, when you press the button, it turns off the torch and it also releases your payment into the collection chest. And that's pretty much the whole design. And then when all three torches are turned off at the same time, it releases a prize like this. And if you want to encase your prize in bedrock, like I had, this is all you have to do. Except you'd, uh, you'd move it one further out and then just power any of these bedrock on the edges here. And that'll power your dispenser. So that's the whole Wheel of Fortune right there. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Thanks for watching and good luck at all of your casinos.